Добро пожаловать! Welcome to the Naldic ICT and EAL vodcasts. In this 10-part series, you will learn practical approaches to using ICT to support learners of English as an additional language. Welcome to program 8 of the Naldic ICT and EAL vodcasts, using generic office tools. In this program we'll look at how generic office tools can be used to help support literacy for EAL learners, as well as how simple resources can be created using some of the hidden features in word processors, spreadsheets and presentation software. We'll focus on Microsoft products but other suites like OpenOffice offer many of the same tools. Use of a word processor such as Microsoft Word is generally supportive of EAL learners, whether at the early stages of learning English or more competent readers and writers. Once an EAL learner is reasonably secure in using a keyboard, they can achieve modest results fairly quickly. For beginner writers, it is more important to encourage the development of cohesive writing rather than focusing too much on perfect spelling and grammar. Tools like spelling and grammar checkers and the thesaurus will become increasingly useful as EAL learners become more competent in reading and writing. The conventions of red underlining for spelling and green for grammar will need to be explicitly taught to enable best use of these tools. Spelling, for example, will highlight unknown words like a name, whether correctly spelled or not, but it will generally pick up most genuine spelling mistakes for easy correction. Similarly, grammatical form can be improved, but EAL learners will need to be aware that grammatical hints can be inconsistent in the specific advice given. Such tools will only be useful for learners who have a sufficient grasp of literacy Otherwise, this may serve to be more confusing than helpful. As a learner's vocabulary becomes wider, the thesaurus will prove increasingly useful to support the development of more sophisticated and interesting writing. There are other supportive features as well. It's possible to plug in speech synthesis, for example via software like WordTalk. EAL learners orally more proficient than their literacy will benefit from being able to hear texts read back to them. Similar products are available for PowerPoint as well. Those who have strong literacy in first language will also benefit from being able to access bilingual dictionary tools in order to help clarify meaning. Word can be set up to use a range of online bilingual dictionaries. There are many useful tools to help preparation of resources for EAL learners. Inputting text, whether English or other languages, into an office program is easy. Keyboards can be set up for any language. Text can also be copied from one place to another, even off the internet. Different scripts will now embed within office programs as Unicode fonts are supported within the operating system itself. One useful feature of Word is the ability to attach comments. This could allow a practitioner to prepare a document with support for keywords and phrases. Select the keyword and from the insert menu click comment. The window will split and you can add content here. This means that you could provide a keyword definition or indeed a translation for EAL learners who are currently more literate in first language. A quick way to produce a close procedure is to use the replace command. Here you can replace all occurrences of the same keyword in a long document. Select edit, replace, and for example replace the word reservoir with a gap fill. All instances are replaced with the click of a button. Another way to produce a close procedure is by using list boxes. 
Here, the missing word or words are replaced by a drop-down list of possibilities. To place a drop-down list box in your text, open up the Forms toolbar. Click the list box icon and place it into the correct place within the text. Next, double-click the list box and enter all the different items. PowerPoint has some cool features, like animation. Imagine preparing a generation game type of presentation to remind students about the important elements in Macbeth. You can animate objects like characters, themes, motives as a memory game activity. You can also add audio elements such as speech and sound effects. Thus you can produce this type of resource. Again? Multimedia in Office applications really supports meaning for EAL learners. More sophisticated resources can be created using Excel. Here, an activity on keyboard vocabulary can check a learner's responses. The grid lines have been hidden and comments have been attached to the yellow cells. If a learner types the wrong word or an incomplete word in the yellow cell, they get a negative feedback. Once they type the correct word or words, they get an affirmative response. The checking of responses is done using a formula which is typed in the formula bar for the feedback cell. This is what the formula says in plain English. If the yellow cell is empty, then the feedback cell will also be empty. If the yellow cell contains the text spacebar, then the feedback cell will say, well done. Otherwise, it will say, try again. Microsoft Word can also be programmed using macros, visual basic programming. Here, a learner must type the correct adjective from a list into a box. When the correct word is inserted, the text turns blue. Otherwise, it stays black. You can access the visual basic controls via the toolbar and you can then write and edit the simple code. These kinds of resources can really benefit EAL learners because they can provide immediate feedback. It will be up to the practitioner to ensure the activities are not too decontextualized and link robustly to the curriculum. As can be seen from the examples in this podcast, it really is worth thoroughly exploring the potential of Office tools to support and prepare resources for EAL learners.